American diplomats issuing a warning about the Middle East, saying commercial airlines flying over the Persian Gulf could be at risk of being misidentified as tensions grow between the United States and Iran. Hello, everyone, and welcome to America's News Headquarters. I'm Arthel Neville. And hello, Arthel, again. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Eric Sean. You know, an, an Iranian military official also issuing a new threat warning that he claims Iranian missiles can, quote, easily reach the U.S. warships that are in the Persian Gulf. Is that more a bluster or is that even possible? National Security correspondent Jennifer Griffin has more from Washington. Some lawmakers received a classified briefing from U.S. security officials on Friday explaining some of the intelligence that U.S. national security officials say showed Iran was preparing to strike U.S. forces using proxy forces in Iraq and possible missiles on board ships. With the USS Abraham Lincoln now in the Gulf, U.S. officials say they have seen signs the missiles that they say Iran had loaded onto at least two ships have been removed. Foreign passport holders working with ExxonMobil have started evacuating an oil field in Basra in southern Iraq, which follows the ordered evacuation of U.S. Embassy personnel from the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad. That warning to commercial airliners flying over the wider Persian Gulf is a grim reminder that 30 years ago, the U.S. mistook an Iranian passenger jet for a warplane while protecting commercial ships in the Strait of Hormuz. The U.S. Navy fired two surface-to-air missiles, killing all 290 people on board. President Trump pushed back on news reports that he is angry with his national security team. And they put out so many false messages that Iran is totally confused. I don't know. That might be a good thing. The president has offered to negotiate with the Iranians, a message delivered through the Swiss who represent the U.S. in Tehran. The U.S. pulled out of the nuclear deal a year ago and listed Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps as a terrorist group, raising fears in Baghdad that Iraq could become the site of a proxy war between the U.S. and Iran. Secretary of State Pompeo reportedly told Iraqi leaders, you are either with us or stand out of the way. And a senior administration official briefing reporters last night said this is an incredibly serious situation. We take it seriously, and I can assure you they should too. In Washington, Jennifer Griffin, Fox News.